to Sydney today because exciting news, we get to pick up our car. So finally fixed and repaired. So we thought we'd make a day of it, come in, check out the city, uh, look at the bridge and the opera house and stuff. We haven't been here since the girls were babies. So we thought oh, we'd bring Kyle, them back here. Kyle would have been. She was about six months old or something. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, I don't know, will that be? A fair few years ago, yeah, so... 10, 10 or 11 years ago? Yeah, um, so... Yeah, anyway, we've come to basically the circular key. So they use these ferries and stuff, which I do a bit of an overlay of that, and yeah, you can pretty much jump on them on the right day. You can pay... I remember last time we were here, we paid $2 for the whole day, and we just sort of went to Manly Beach. We went to... Um, back to here, a couple of other spots. Oh my boy, it looks so shiny. Made a bit of a day of that. That was good fun, but today we, we've already sort of done that. Um, trying not to do things that we've, we've sort of done before. So, yeah, we're, that bridge there is massive. It always looks very small than what it is. Nice big um, cruise ship in at the moment. It's We're not even anywhere near the bridge and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Another really cool thing about this area here is a lot of filmmaking gets done right here underneath the bridge because of all the heritage listed buildings. Some of them are absolutely stunning. Anyway, we're going to uh, get back to the car and basically go and find a beach and probably something to eat, I think. So we've yeah. come to Bondi and I remember last time we were here we were like oh yeah Bondi will be this big thing that no one really you know it's just this big over hyped up thing that it's just another beach sort of thing and I remember the day we we come here when we were, the kids were really young and yeah it is actually really really nice this spot it's probably one of the nicest beaches I've seen on this side of the country and it's a, really packed I think today I don't know why it's a weekday what are you going to do? Mama's going! Did you say you're going under the water? Mama's going! <laughs> <laughs>
Hey guys, just a quick update with what happened with the car. So there's been a handful of issues that's happened. Mm -hmm. um, we'll quickly run through those because we got a lot of comments and questions, questions and around the yeah. car. So <clears throat> first things first, the issues with the time delay was parts was mainly the hard one. There was a retainer clip that holds the fuel line in that just took ages to come in. They ended up um, yeah, that was basically the delay there. The other issue is we've had a lot of pushback from the insurance company in regards to who's at fault. Mm. Now, just to clarify a few things, yes, we have made an insurance claim. Yes, they've agreed that it's um, going to be covered. Um, yeah. The issue we've got is who's at fault. Now, I've provided all the documentation that I did put the correct fuel in there and that it come directly out of the Bowser. Sarah has tried numerous times to make contact with this uh, fuel, fuel, station. fuel station yeah. in question. Um, they basically took her phone call and directed us to the manager and the contact details. And um, Sarah yeah. tried, I reckon it was six or seven times to get in contact through if phone yeah. and email. Yeah. And they basically refused to talk to us in the end. So, so the dilemma we've got is, well, we've picked the car up. We had to pay an excess, uh, we had to refuel the car up. Insurance company won't waive our excess because the fuel company won't accept fault. Oh, yes, they have to admit um, liability and fault. Until then, um, we're liable for the excess. Now, yeah. that is what it is. Um, it's still an open case and it's been, what? I guess we've just got to wait and see as to what happens. And I'm, yeah. yeah. So they know. said, if they accept fault, whether it's a few months down the track, uh, they'll reimburse our excess, but we're not going to hold our breath because yeah, they probably won't. Um, the fuel company won't be want to be held liable. So yeah. So the biggest reason we went through excess was, oh. I mean, um, the insurance claim was we just didn't want issues down the road. And if they were, there's accountability from and a paper trail and yeah. ongoing costs that we were worried that might arise. So if the engine blew up as a direct result of the fuel mm. laden in the track, there's a paper trail of that. Now that's the main reason we went through with the insurance yeah, and the costs and... were blowing out too. So the total cost of it was about just over seven thousand dollars I think in in and and plus plus our excess fee. Yeah. So and then to weigh up the other damages that were occurred by us was, um, yeah, sitting there and not really being able to travel and well, trying to fill in days. And... Losing accommodation bookings because we had bookings literally three days after we arrived in Newcastle all up the East Coast. And most yeah. places, if you cancel within a week um, or a fortnight or whatever, you lose fees. And yeah, it would have been close to seven or $800 would have lost there. Yeah, um, so we, that <clears throat> was really annoying. Some were really great. Some gave us credits and we can rebook, but a lot were like, nope. Um, and then obviously, um, yeah, the cost of just, I, I don't know, just trying to trying to entertain yeah. the family while we were in a very stressful situation now it might not look it on the camera but to be honest we were both we've had a gut full of this whole car issue it's not the car's fault we know that it's yeah. just it's just been a big pain in the ass yeah and it's um, just the and fuel. It, it was mainly because there was a massive time frame or a short period of time we wanted to do this travel stint it's just it's gone like that's it it's it's done um yeah we've and ran then... out of time we obviously have an issues with the fuel company. We weren't going to rely on them just paying for all the repairs and the damages because they might fix it. And then we get down the road and if it breaks down, you call them up and they're not going to want to pay more repairs if anything happens. So that's, that's another right. point why yeah. we went through insurance. So yeah, that's um, a quick little update as to what happened with that. Um, we weren't really in the mood for filming. Um, the whole ordeal has just been a, a massive inconvenience basically. Yeah, and I, I don't know, a lot of people say, you know, this, it would have been more damage or cost around the same amount if we had a 200. Yes, it probably would have, but it wouldn't have ever got to that point 
because we would have known with a 200 what the issues were yeah, when they first they would have arose. Been, so in the 200, they've actually got a, a fuel sensor in them. It comes up with just a fuel error, but then I would have replaced the fuel filter straight away and would have seen it. So, and yeah. then I would have known exactly what was going on. But anyway, that's hindsight. We don't own a 200 series. We own a Chevy 1500. So. That throws fault codes that you have no idea what the yeah. hell's wrong with your car. And if you're not but... sure or you want to see what that was, go back to last episode uh... and you'll see, see the faults that were thrown. It was nothing to do with any inkling to do with fuel. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh. But um, yes, we've picked it up. Um, we're hoping everything works out from now on, and um, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens from here. <laughs> Hello and good morning. We finally picked up the car yesterday afternoon. We didn't do any filming on the way back, um, purely because I, I I don't know. We're just in in busy traffic and stuff back from Sydney. So. Yeah, a little bit of mixed emotions with it. So. Hmm. Um, yeah, we've decided to, I don't really know, Sarah could probably explain what's going on, but um, <laughs> you'll have to wait till the next episode maybe to, to see where we're at and what's, what's yeah. going on. Yeah, but so. good news, we're leaving Newcastle today yes. and we are heading to the unknown. <laughs> yeah, so we were without the car in the end three, uh, three weeks and one day. Yeah. So... We're expecting to be off Fraser Island by now, or Gari, but um, yes, that obviously didn't happen. So we don't know, we are going into school holidays and stuff now, so. The plan was to try and get that done yeah, before then. We're so. not gonna, yeah, we're gonna try and bunker down, I think, for the holidays, so. Yeah, yes. and, um, yeah stay tuned and see where we end up on the next episode, because we're gonna, Keep it losing a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Um, yeah. All right. Let's hit the road.